Hey, would you mind moving that bag of Cheetos real quick? I'm trying to clean up here. Who am I? I'm the janitor of YouTube. I watch trashy content online, and the only trash that I'm seeing right now is you. Oh, you wanna fight me? You wanna fight me? Dude, I'm depressed. You really think you can hurt me more than my depression? Well, they did it. I think I said it as a joke in my previous video. Oh, what if they made Doof Manor? And they did. So Doof Manor is basically a copycat of Milf Manor where it's older guys dating younger guys because if it was older guys dating younger girls, that would be so wrong. God, I love double standards. Old women can date younger guys, but older guys cannot date younger women. Oh my god. They made a whole song about this show? Daddy, oh daddy. Honestly, that's a catchy ass song. Daddy, oh daddy, D-A-D-D-Y-O-O-O. -O -O. Damn, someone needs a raise. What's up guys, my name's Tony Cannoli and I'm from New Jersey and I'm so excited to be here. <laughs> oh my God. So excited to be here. <laughs> I am 27 years old and I'm just looking for love in all the wrong places. Is he real? Like he seems like an anime character. Why was he so positive and energetic? It just doesn't feel like a human being would act like that, you know? It seems like a robot trying to imitate humans. So excited to be here. <laughs> <laughs> but robots should know that humans are always stressed, they're overthinking, but this dude is a little too bubbly. Is he actually human? What's up guys, my name's Tony Cannoli and I'm from New Jersey and I'm so excited to be here. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Tony Cannoli and you're watching the Disney Channel. I'm 27 years old and uh, <laughs> I'm just looking for love. <laughs> Will love ever find me? Jesus Christ, I'm always looking for love. When is love ever gonna find me? Tony, let's bring down that energy by like 20%, then we're at human level energy. I'm Phoenix, I'm 27. I live in West Hollywood, California, originally from Seattle. I'm a Pisces, if you couldn't tell. Um, I work at acting studio, actually down in California. So I help scout talent and I also coach acting as well. Phoenix is perfecting his most challenging acting role yet. Which a is? blonde. <laughs> what do I feel like Phoenix's entire personality is? I'm a Pisces. So I'm a Virgo and if you ever see me wearing a Virgo shirt, shoot me! I really do believe in Virgo supremacy and uh, obviously it's the best sign out there, fuck all the other signs, but I would never make it my personality. Not Virgos. Aquarius. Okay. What about the Virgos? Do we even exist at this point? Is anyone noticing that they barely talk about Virgos? Oh, is this a daddy? Oh. Okay. What's poppin'? My name is Toby. No, that's a bottom. California. I'm 29 years old. I am a rapper, MC, the baddest bitch you ever met in your motherfucking life. <laughs> okay. A bitch needs some warmth at night, and it's nothing but a nice, sexy, thick day to keep a bitch warm. Mm. Okay. I expected nothing less from the show. Everything is just so horny. Everyone's ready to fuck. Just a quick tip for Tokyo, like I'm not a sex coach or a dating coach, but if you're cold that night, you really don't need a thick daddy to keep you warm. You can use one of these things that uh, I think scientists invented, blanket kind of thing, and you just wrap it around here. Uh-huh. I know it sounds a little complicated, but hear me out. Okay, so you do this, you keep it like this, and it does keep your outsides warm. Now, if you're talking about your insides, then you're definitely gonna need a daddy for that. Hey, my name is Mateo. I'm 23 years old from Mexico. I moved to America around three and a half years ago. I used to live in San Francisco. Love to work out. I like the healthy lifestyle. I really, really, really like to go to the gym, go to the locker room and see all these hot guys and see what's up with their bodies. That's only mildly creepy. If you're that horny, there's this thing that we like to call po- That's so creepy. If you're just going to the gym and heading to the locker room to look at other boys, that's fucked up. No matter if you're a hot girl, a daddy, or young guy, you shouldn't be going to the gym just to look at people in their locker room changing. That's so creepy. 
My name is Alex T. Oh, the daddies are here. I am born and raised in New York and a recent transplant. I love how they had to put daddy underneath here. <laughs> Usually they put their professions, what they do for a living. Oh, he's the doctor or oh, this guy's the model. But in this case, uh, Alex is a daddy. He's a professional daddy. I am a full throttle, unabashed, unapologetic sex worker. Oh. I make my entire living fucking people. Oh, good, good to know. Wow, that was just so romantic, the way he said that. I make my entire living fucking people. Hey everybody, I'm Alex, and as you can see, right about there, yeah, I'm a daddy. I do one of the sweetest, nicest jobs. Some people may call it romantic, some people may call me a plumber. There's a lot of names for my job, but to put it in the most basic way, I fuck people for a living. So yeah, I destroy their insides, and some of them do end up in the ER. And no, I don't pay for their ER. I make them sign a contract before uh, I fuck them. Himbo is such a, it sounds derogatory, but it's it, kind of not. It's just an unabashed shamelessness. This is who I am and I don't give a fuck what you think. And, and they're kind of hot. <laughs> Who's hot? Oh, the people that he fucks? I feel like he could have been a little less aggressive with the way that he said that. Just say that, oh, I'm a sex worker, but not like I fuck the living shit out of people and I destroy their insides. <laughs> oh, all the daddies are here. And yes, all right. <laughs> well, when I tell you, I could not believe my eyes. I mean, yes, yes, double yes, <laughs> exactly. Is he in a movie? Why does he speak like that? What's with this alien robot energy? Yes, 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 double yes, exactly. Tony is auditioning for a Disney Channel role right here. A Disney Channel role that's for the kids, but he's here to meet daddies, to have sex with them. It's kind of contradicting itself, Tony, but like, hey, you do you. Um, I did have a, another question. Yeah. Nicki Minaj or Cardi B? If he doesn't say Nicki Minaj, skip him, nix him, Nicki. I think Cardi's funnier, so I'm gonna go with that. What? 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 No. <laughs> I am disgusted. I would rather have all of them have a 20-some, or is that what they call it? A 20-some where 20 people have sex together? I would rather watch that shit than watch someone say Cardi B is better than Nicki Minaj. You know, I might be the janitor of YouTube, but I could fuck people up with this, you know? With the, the Swiffer. Yeah, Swiffer can... Ooh. Ooh. So, my, Jeffrey. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, where are you from? I'm from Mexico. Mexico? Mm -hmm. What about cool. you? Uh, originally from Boston. Wait. Uh, I live in New York now. I've been there for like the last 12 years or so. Oh, wow. Once I met him, I think he was super, super, super attractive. What do you do there? For work? Wait, and is anyone seeing this? Like he's staring at his eyes. If you paid attention from the beginning, he keeps staring at his eyes. Is he trying really hard not to look at his body? He seems very uncomfortable, like he really wants to look what's going on down there, but he's like, he's focusing his eyes so badly, like he's not moving them at all. Pay attention to his eyes. I'm in college. Look. Nice. I actually, yeah, I actually moved to America around three and a half They years. never go down. And I'm finishing my economics degree. I play tennis. Nice. I coach on the side. Wow. So I actually played for Mexico for a long time and I got to number two in the nation. Oops. This is looking a little weird. He seems so uncomfortable. He's like, so, uh, uh, as I was saying, I'm gonna, like, uh, so I'm number two in the, I was in the lead and in, in Mexico, it's like, and my mom said I should get a bottle of, uh, of, of water, so can I? Uh... Honestly, I feel a little overdressed. So I'm, <laughs> I might be on your level. Why did they pair the two most interesting ones together? The rest seems a little boring, but like these two, <laughs> I'm so ready for this. A dude applying for Disney role and a daddy who has OnlyFans. 
That sounds like a great mix. No, here. you're fine. Are you okay? Oh, oh my god. Oh, we're, we're just taking out the shirts? I'm out. I try. They say if you stare into Alex's back hair long enough, it'll tell you the exact date you're going to die. <laughs> what? What was the commentary? Uh... Wait, do I see numbers? 3-15-2096? What? Why is this dude so hairy? Look at how fucking hairy his back is. Oh, nice to meet you. Yeah, come give me a hug. <laughs> Perfect. He is freaking gorgeous. Immediately, I just noticed like his eyes and his beard, and I said like, I just felt lost. I was lost <laughs> in his beard. And okay. Like, Why'd you pick the jockstrap? He used to wrestle, and so uh. it kind of like gave me like that whole fantasy, kind of that moment of like, ooh, the, the coach is hot. You oh, know? okay. So like it kind of like- So it's your coach fantasy? He has a coach <laughs> one? Yeah. <laughs> I've been called coach many times. Well, then I'll be your star player. Oh. This is such a weird energy. We have a Disney star and we have a sex worker daddy. Like really innocent guy, probably a robot or alien who wants to kill the human race and a really horny middle-aged guy. Now take the alien and the horny guy. You, like they're not matching, like they're not fucking, you know what I mean? So I'm just so curious to see how is this gonna work out. What do you think about marriage? I love fairy tales, so I want that whole fairy tale wedding. Yeah. You know, like, I know growing up I used to like read the fairy tale all the time, and you know, as a queer kid, you think, am I ever gonna get happily ever after? Is that gonna happen to me? I don't know, I guess this prince is looking for a king. Okay, relax, Shakespeare. The daddy is 100% not looking for marriage. He's here to have fun and promote his OnlyFans. It's a huge show. Why would he not come here to promote his OnlyFans, right? You, wow. do. Okay, that's he, a good question. He doesn't care um, about. So, I'm a sex worker. I have fan pages. I have platforms, he has fan and pages. I collaborate with other porn actors, Ooh. and we make movies, and people click on them, and that's how I make my living. When the Disney dude just lost his shit, he was talking about marriage. Oh, I want to get married and like have kids and do this and this and that. Marriage is my all-time favorite thing in the world. Like I want to get married so badly. It's so romantic. So uh, I like to fuck people because uh, I'm a sex worker. Uh, yeah, it's all about sex and we just fuck. I have sex all the time. And he's like, I'm a sex worker. I have fan pages. Oh. Uh. And I'm like, I'm, I'm too old to give a fuck oh, he, about, you know. He seems so think. confused. And I'm looking for a guy that isn't afraid. Basically, yeah. that's a very, very strong guy. Oh, that's, that's not him. We're here for a couple of weeks. Yeah. I would love to sit down with you, you lost him you think about uh, hanging out again like no. honestly out i i would really like that alex yeah i would really like that are you like with everything that i said you're totally cool yeah i mean yeah. it sounds like a fairy tale <laughs> wait, wait, wait. sounds like a fairy tale <laughs> which part about him being a sex worker and totally not matching what you just said what your perfect ideal world was was a fairy tale. You were so turned off and confused when he said that he's a sex worker and what he does. And at the end, he's like, you know what? That sounds like a fairy tale. The bar is so low right now. Hey, I'm desperate. I'm gonna do anything for some sex. And a Disney role though. Let's talk about me getting into Disney. Both on the same page in regards to what we're looking for. I didn't think he and was. It's basically an honest connection. All right, so, um... Really? Let's, uh... Alright, so... Yeah. Th they're Why did they just kiss? This is the first time that they meet and they just kissed? <laughs> okay. What's next? They're gonna fuck here? <gasps> he grabbed the booty! Good. Did you want to see that? Bye. It was bizarre because I, I felt like it was like an accident kiss because it was like I wanted to like hug and then and all of a sudden our lips met and I was like, oh my god, we just kissed. He's a hopeless romantic just like me. Tony, what are you smoking? Can you share some of that with me? It'd be nice to deal with my depression sometimes. I wish I was that hopelessly romantic where you're just going with anything. Even though that wasn't the match that you, that you described, you just turned that shit into a fairy tale. There was like zero compliments from his side and you called him hopelessly romantic? I mean shit. Just say that you're horny. You don't need to call him hopelessly romantic. 
Well, that was Delph Manor, the exact same thing as Milf Manor. Was it disturbing? Yeah. Did I expect it to be disturbing? Yeah. Am I shot? No. But you know what shocks me more is uh, you not being subscribed and being a member on this channel. You're watching this video and you're not a member? Like, hello, click that button and become a member. Look at all those cool perks that you get. So hit subscribe, then become a member so you don't look like a loser when you leave a comment. Because if you didn't know, people who become members, they have a check right next to their name, which uh, makes them stand out and they look cool. <laughs> wow, Melf Manor, Delf Manor. What's next? Gilf Manor? <gasps> Grandma, I'd like to F. Oh my god, I should keep my mouth shut. Last time that I said, oh, what's next, Dilf Manor? They're gonna make Gilf Manor, aren't they?